was a part of those early days, don't forget. I was one of those pioneers way back there, and I'll never forget. When Ralph Wilkerson came to Pittsburgh, and that was before there was a Melody Land, and said, oh, Catherine, come on, won't you please come to Los Angeles? That seems years and years ago. But for both of us, much has happened during those years. And so I just want to say congratulations, Ralph Wilkerson, on the marvelous work you have done and you are doing. I think that uh, God would build a place like Melody Land. And the Lord is there because you know it wasn't always a church. It was a convention center theater. In fact, I'd just like for them to flash a picture of the uh, building and let the people see it. It's right across the street from Disneyland. This is one of the most extraordinary experiences, being here at Melody Land in live services with Benny Hinn. We have had tremendous times. In all of my years, Benny, I've never seen the Spirit of God move since the days of Catherine Kuhlman like we're seeing right now. These my, are tremendous thank the times. Lord. Ralph, you know what? I tell you, the anointing that I'm sensing here, I've never sensed it like that before. This is incredible. The whole congregation fell under the spirit last night simultaneously and healings all over the place. Elaine, wasn't that one of the most glorious times? Get over here closer by me here. Hey, man, we've only been married a few years, you know, 44 years. <laughs> I thought it was back to the shrine again. Are it you was serious? So, oh, it was just outstanding, remarkable, and the healings were so phenomenal last night. In fact, there were so many people, you couldn't even get to all of them. There were hundreds and hundreds that never did get on the platform. But you know something? I think, really, you, dear people, and myself have been so deeply influenced by Catherine Kuhlman. Yeah. You know, people always have actually asked me, they said... Uh, they said, why are you the way you are? You know, I believe that people do influence your life that you come across. You know, people you get to know and things like this. I, I used to attend Miss Kuhlman's meetings, of course, quite a bit in the days when she was ministering. Of course, you knew her a lot better than I did. And here I'm holding in my hand her book, I Believe in Miracles, that I'm sure you're going to talk about in just a second, Ralph. But Catherine, she had an anointing on her that very few people had in those days, and maybe very, very few people have today. And I think because of her, God had introduced me at that time to the Holy Spirit. So really the anointing you felt last night isn't because of any person except really the Holy Ghost. And all I can say is thank God that he used Catherine to open that door that I could begin to understand the personality of the Spirit. You know, I've had, I've had ministers tell me, how do you meet the Holy Spirit? Well, I thought that's so simple. I mean, it's in the Bible. I mean, how do you meet the Holy Spirit? Catherine, her relationship to the Holy Spirit was so unusual that when I heard her speak on the Holy Spirit, and, you know, a number of times, but especially once, that really transformed my life through that one message. Ralph, um, she didn't talk about the gifts or about tongues or about goosebumps or about prophecy or, or whatever, techniques. nothing like that. She spoke about a person that she really knew. I'll never for forget in one service, she, uh, she stopped ministering. I never said, no, do this before. That was in Pittsburgh at the First Presbyterian Church, and she stopped, and suddenly she began to sob. And that was the one time I saw all of her ushers and her ladies that you know, Maggie and Ruth and all the rest of them. Yes stand, I mean stop. It was like somebody put a, a button and said stop and they all stopped, froze. And that woman began to weep and sob and I thought, dear Lord, what happened? And suddenly she picked her face up and I was sitting third row down so I could see everything. Her face came up and her eyes were ablaze, you know. And she looked down with her ways, you know, and, and, and uh, you know how she used to talk. And she pointed a finger at the crowd and that was the first time I ever heard, heard anybody say these words. She said, please, and she almost like she was in agony. She said, please don't grieve the Holy Spirit. Of course, she said it with such emotion, such intensity, and nobody can imagine the power of that moment. It was incredible. And she began talking about him, tears running down her cheeks. 
how he is the only one she knew, the only one she had. She said things like, don't wound him, he's all I got. And I thought to myself, what is this woman talking about? I never heard anybody introduce the Holy Spirit like this. But it was that relationship in her life, really, that brought the miraculous. And one day she did say, she said, if you want to see miracles, get to know the Holy Spirit. And I guess maybe really this is all I did. In simplicity, I said, Holy Spirit, if you're really there, like Catherine said, you ought to like to know you. And God opened that door in my life that uh, hasn't shut, thank God. And, and I've said to the Lord many times, I said, Lord, before you take away that presence from me, take me home, I'd rather die. Well, I see those same anointings upon you. Uh, we're all unique. Each person has a different type of ministry. Yeah. But uh, I see that same anointing. You know, David Wilkerson was the one that really introduced us to Catherine. He kept talking about this heavy anointing, and he had been in our services, particularly in the Thursday morning miracle service at 10 o'clock every Thursday. We've had that now for 30 years. Oh, now. yeah, you have. And uh, he, said, uh, he said, Ralph, he said, uh, you, you all are singing the same songs. You're worshiping the same way. So Aline was back east playing the organ for Oral Roberts, and, and I said, Aline, go by Pittsburgh and, and ask uh, Catherine to come to California because I believe God spoke to us in one of our prayer groups that she should come. You remember, Aline, how you invited her? When I walked in the room in Cleveland, my phone was ringing, and it was Maggie on the telephone. And she said, Miss Kuhlman wants you to come by and spend a couple of days with us while you're back here. We were in Cleveland. And so I went by, and first right off, I said, we've got to get on the phone and call Ralph, because I know he wants you to come to L.A. And of course, Miss Kuhlman said, why should I go to L.A.? I have, I have all I can do here. I'm busy here. And I, you know, she was so loved there. The people adored her. She had no reason to want to come, really, in the natural. Yeah. She, she had a great ministry. The whole city loved her, and she had buses coming from Canada, from New York, from Florida, even from California. Well, I used to be on one of those buses. Oh, you did? <laughs> yes. So she from said, Canada. From Canada. And she had never gone out of Pittsburgh because she felt that was the place that God had sent her. But when she finally did say she would come to California, I, from the very first minute she walked on the platform, absolutely God gave her the same identical anointing. And the power, it was, it was wow. there. First came to Pasadena. Yes. And uh, our, the choir was our choir, and the ushers were our ushers in our little church. And uh, it wasn't a full house when she started there, but she'd been on radio very little out here. Not too many people knew who she was. Wasn't it after that, Ralph, that she began taping programs here with the CBS? The very first program I was with her on, I had a clerical caller in those days, had two medical doctors. Well, isn't that basically when her ministry really exploded at that time? Yeah. I mean, all over the, uh, all over the world. The world, yeah. So God really used you. Mm -hmm. The it's biggest beautiful. thing I can remember about Catherine was her prayer ministry. I was there with her every time she went on the platform in those years. Uh, before the service, we see we had four services in the morning, two at night at the church. So I'd run Sunday afternoon there, and she wouldn't start till I got there and we'd have prayer time before she went in. You know, now I know why she wrote this. Can I read this to the yeah. people? This is a book called I Believe in Miracles by Catherine Kuhlman that was given to Ralph. It states, to Ralph, to one of the greatest men of love I've ever known. Well, this is something. She said, I am, um, I can't read this word here. I am proud to have you as my personal friend, Catherine Kuhlman. Boy, she really did love you, isn't it? We loved her the same way. You know, there was, there was an absolute transparency about this woman. She had a purity of God's power. You know, when you showed me what she said in that other book, can I get it, Eileen, honey? Where? This is the only other book that she had besides the Bible that she treasured so greatly. You remember how she told us, Eileen, about this book? It, this is the book my grandfather mm. used to read me when I was a child. Fox's ah. Book of Martyrs. I wish you could be, you know, this is so moving. I wish you could see, well, I just read it to you. This was written by Catherine. This was her book. This is the only book that she treasured, you said. It said, God grant me to, the privilege of being one of those martyrs. Doesn't that do something to you? When you, when, it's incredible. Now I know why God used her the way he did. She loved him so much like that. And Ralph, you know, this, this video that people are, watching and they're soon to see Catherine in a minist uh, ministering here at Melbourne four hours of power it's, you know it's black and white because we didn't have uh, color in those days and uh, but it's beautiful film 
Ralph, I'm so glad you've done this film, this video, and made it available. I'll tell you why. Everywhere I've gone the last, and I've been preaching now 17, 18 years, and everywhere I've gone the last 10 years especially, people have asked me, is there any, anything about Catherine I can get my hands on? Mm -hmm. And there really hardly is anything. There's nothing, there really is not anything people can get. And God, I think, has raised you up, not just, you know, to have done what you did back years ago and God used you so greatly in the past, but I believe there's something greater now than even what happened then. And who knows, Ralph, but this very thing right here that you're doing with this video can unleash a new anointing on the body of Christ through this video. I mean, really the anointing is caught, isn't it? It's let me not tell caught. you, let me tell you that she gave me permission to tape this. She doesn't, she didn't let people tape her live services like this. Yeah, I know that. I think one other one was done after this, but this is the major one, and it was in a live clinic. Right here in Melbourne. Yes, and, and uh, the Spirit hit this crowd, and I have taken this tape and told her about it. I've taken it up into Alaska, I've taken it in many parts of the world, and wherever I've taken it, as many miracles have happened in the time of the showing of that tape as in the service per capita. In other words, if we take it into a church, an auditorium of a thousand, yeah. you would see powerfully anointed healings take place as they viewed the film. So that's what's going to happen when they view this film. You know, isn't that in interesting? Because the anointing really is caught. I mean, it's captured on that video. And so as people will see this beautiful video, that same anointing will walk into their homes and touch their life. Ralph, I pray that this video will release that new anointing people are hungry for that touched my life, that touched your life, touched thousands of people around the world at that time. But today there's a new group of, there's a new group of people that have never seen Catherine. I know. I mean, I'm shocked in our own meetings when I ask, how many of you have seen Catherine? Well, hardly any hand goes up. Well, how many heard of her? Half of them think, they're, God, where were those people then? But many of them have just been saved the last few years. And they deserve to see it. I mean, why should we just see the glory of God as we saw it? I think that they need to see it. You know, there were only two fears Catherine had. First, when she came to a service, there would be anybody there. And of course, everywhere she went, she had capacity crowds. And secondly, <laughs> that if, she, if, if the service did start, you remember what the last one was? That the Holy Spirit would not show up. Because she said, without the Holy Spirit, she says, Ralph, I have no talent. Here was a humble woman, so humble. She, she says, I'm so dependent on the Holy Spirit. And says, I always pray that he'll be here today so there'll be miracles. Benny, I would like to say one other thing. I am so glad that God has raised you up for this generation that hasn't heard Catherine. You're chosen. And I believe you, if Catherine were living right now, she would say, I am so pleased that Benny Hinn is carrying on the ministry of healing. And when I see you minister, it's so awesome to me, Benny, because... You are like a mod modern Elisha to me. Elisha, <laughs> ask heart. for a double portion. Do you know that? What would happen if he had asked for a triple portion? The he Lord had exactly double the miracles. The and I see this in you. I think that God has transferred s sovereignly and in his timing the same mantle. Even healing. more intense Yes. Now. And it's like Elisha. Elisha had twice the miracles because Elijah had done the footwork. He was the forerunner. And I believe we're going to see the greatest healing explosion clear around the world. Oh, man. You know something, Eileen? I, I do believe that, that something did rub on my life. I, I don't believe I have Catherine's an anointing. I, I believe that her anointing touched my life as it touched yours. But for some reason, and you know, I was wondering even last night in the hotel, I thought, Lord, why me? I mean, wh who on earth am I? God must have a reason why he, he's doing what he's doing. I can tell you. Well, I, it's I, because you're giving the glory to the Lord. Oh, amen. And, and oh, secondly, I never will quit doing you, you, that. You don't have any fears. See, you move in where God is, and and, and you let God do it. Yes. And uh, people are hungry. There, there, there's a new cycle. See, I've lived long enough. I hate to tell you how many years I've been in the ministry, but I've lived long <laughs> enough to see the cycle, and we've come back around to it now. It's going to be more pronounced. And what you were preaching last night about God healing them when they come to the door. Yes is really happening. That's right. Um, it's really happening. That's right. Well, this has been so wonderful talking to you like Thanks this. And I you. pray that this video will change lives as it's changed mine. Thank you. And uh, she said, are you praying for anybody in this group? And I said, our daughter's born blind. And 
She says, I think God's doing something for her. In fact, I know she is. And we couldn't say anything. We were just crying. Crying just under crying. the car. Just crying. <laughs> crying and shaking. <laughs> and you knew that you weren't doing the shaking, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, I knew it was of God. And then when did she start to work? I, to, uh, when did she start to uh, walk then? Christmas Day. About a month later, she was healed on the 17th of November. Christmas Day, she started walking all over the house, and we were at Christmas dinner at someone else's house, and she was just going all over the place. And we were just praising the Lord for this, because she had never walked a step. Had never walked a step. She would hold on to things and pull herself around and walk, but she would never let go of anything when she was on the ground. She would always hold on to something. And Christmas Day, she walked her first steps, and she just went all over the house. She'd be blind if she'd have to hold on mm -hmm. to something. Right. You're a grateful father and mother, aren't you? Praise God. Very. That's all I can say. And you're so young. How old are you? I'm 27. <laughs> I'm not going to ask his wife. I'm 22. <laughs> Honey, are you? Yes. <laughs> and, you, and your child is how old? She'll be three in next month. You're just about the most grateful parents in the whole world. Oh, yes. Is this your only child? Yes. And you mean she's normal now? Yes. Absolutely normal. I wish you'd see this beautiful blonde child. She's sound asleep right now. <laughs> First time today she's going to sleep. <laughs> this beautiful curly-headed child. <laughs> to see the smile on their faces, Miss. Tell the whole world as a father who's had a blind baby healed by the power of God. Is it real? Oh yes, it is so real. It's hard to explain it. It's just wonderful. All I know is there is a God, and I accept Jesus as my personal Savior, and it's changed my entire life. There's nothing like it. You just started to live. Just like the scripture And yet says. he took something that could have been the greatest tragedy in your life. Yes. You felt like your whole world had come to an end when you became the father of a baby born blind. Well, I actually said I hated God to my mother. I told her, if there's a God, I hate him for what he did. But... Mm -hmm. I realize now that it wasn't God that caused it in the beginning. And he took this tragedy and used it for his glory. Oh, he brought our family so close, it's hard to describe. People tonight, you've heard some of the greatest sermons you'll ever hear preached. That's the truth. No man with the world's greatest oratorical ability could ever preach the masterpieces that the Holy Spirit has preached just through lives of men and women and young people in Melody Land this hour. Father God, you're still exactly where you always were. And you're still God Almighty. We give you the praise. Here is this precious little baby girl. So innocent, so sweet, this little blonde, curly-headed child. We dedicate this child to you, but more than that, we thank God for the way you've used what seemingly was the greatest tragedy in the lives of these parents and used it for your glory. Thanks and thanks again. Praise God. What a beautiful sight. No one, no one could have been in this place tonight and could drive out of this place or walk out of Melody Land and be the same person you were. Everything. Everything has happened from holy laughter to the moments that are so sacred that one felt like taking off the shoes from off one's feet. Heads bowed just now, please. Just heads bowed. 
There's something far greater than the healing of sick bodies. There's something far greater. I know it's wonderful to see these bodies healed instantly by God's power. But there's something far greater. Jesus said he must be born again. It is not optional. And salvation is something you're going to have to want. He'll never force it upon you, never. He'll never force himself upon any man or any woman. You come because you want to come. You accept him because you want to accept him. He'll never force you, never. You choose to come. I made the choice one day. It was the greatest choice I ever made. It was the greatest decision I ever made. That day in that little Methodist church in Cardia, Missouri, I chose him. Just now in the stillness of this moment, as the Holy Spirit speaks to your heart, we're going to turn this entire stage in Melody Land to one of the most sacred altars. I want that man, that woman, that young person who'll say, Catherine Kuhlman, I've never had that definite experience of being born again. Jesus said, him that cometh unto me, I will in no wise cast out. Come and stand right here. I'll pray for you. That's what I want, Catherine Kuhlman. I want to be born again. Come on. Come on and stand right here. Come on. From the different runways. Come on. That's what I want. That's what I want. Come on.
Father God, I pray there shall not be one leaving this place of worship this Monday evening without having felt that glorious touch. His touch, the touch that gives life everlasting, the touch that forgives. There is no touch in the universe like the touch of that nail-scarred hand. And I pray the Holy Spirit shall breathe upon this people. Not one shall see Catherine Coleman. Not a person in this sanctuary shall see the servant. The Holy Spirit shall have perfect liberty. He shall have absolute freedom. He shall again take the vessel and speak through lips of clay. We stand before you completely gilded tonight. Pray that men and women sitting here in your glorious presence shall be open to the moving of the Holy Spirit. May it be one of those moments when his presence was there to hear. Very marvelous in here. Just stand there for one full minute, just breathing in of the very presence of the Holy Spirit. That communion of the Holy Ghost. Nearer to you this moment than that one standing next. There is literally a place in him where you stand and breathe in of his matchless presence. Not asking him for anything but adoring Jesus. The key that unlocks the storehouse of glory is praise as we praise Jesus. And the Holy Spirit will always magnify, will always glorify Jesus. He's the one. See him. See Jesus. And we vow to give you the praise for everything that happens in this place of worship this Monday night. We vow with our very life to give you the glory. We vow to give you the praise. Thank you, audience. You may be seated. Thank you. There is something so wonderful in this place. There's something so glorious here. I give you praise. We could begin even now with the healing of sick bodies. I shall not speak tonight, I shall not preach. If you came expecting a sermon, you've had the greatest teaching in the world here in this clinic. You've had the finest teaching anywhere in the world. You've been a privileged people. You've had marvelous teaching and glorious preaching. Tonight, I believe that the Holy Spirit is pleased to give of himself. It's one thing to teach of the power of the Holy Spirit. It's one thing to preach regarding the mighty third person of Trinity. But it's another thing to see his power in action. And tonight, we've come, some of you have come, you're weary in body, me things you've come directly from work. You'd be amazed how many have not yet had their evening meal. You'll be glad for having made this sacrifice. I give you praise, wonderful Jesus. There's a lung condition. You received that touch before I ever walked on this stage tonight. Just breathe deeply right now. There's a lung condition that someone has received a healing for. 
just sit there and just praise him. There's an allergy, and the person is very near the one who's been healed of this lung condition. It's an allergy that you've had, and you've had it for some time. Father, I thank you for the healing of that allergy in that body. That allergy goes in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, the Holy Spirit is so pleased tonight. I praise you. In that same section of the auditorium, there is sugar diabetes. Father, that sugar goes. The fire of the Holy Spirit burns that sugar out of that body even now. That resurrection power burns that sugar out of that body. And that person who's being healed, you go back to your doctor and you'll find out that every trace of that sugar has gone. Don't try to analyze these things. You can no more analyze his power than you can analyze God. There's a second healing for sugar diabetes. There's still a second, and the power of the Holy Spirit is on that one. There's a warmth upon that body. It is a supernatural warmth. Is that arthritis in the toes? Somebody's getting a healing for arthritis, and so far as I can tell, it's in the toes. The person is behind me. Begin moving those toes. You'll find that every trace of arthritis has gone out of those toes. How it can be, I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know. And that person was not expecting it. It's arthritis, the toes. You'll find out every bit of the arthritis has left those toes. Every trace of it is gone. There's another foot healing. I'll get all of these in just a moment. You've had great pain in your feet. It's a bone that has been out of place in the foot. And the bone has gone back into place. You'll no longer have difficulty with that foot. You'll find that you've been completely healed and it's a bone. You may not have known what it was. I do not know how it was diagnosed. And there is a second one that's been healed of arthritis in the toes. There's a second healing. Somebody got the overflow from the first. Somebody got that overflow. It, it, it's so wonderful. <laughs> and it's completely gone. Oh, this oneness. The Holy Spirit is so pleased. He is so pleased. It's just like waves of glory in here. What is this coming up? I know. And it's the power of God. And this woman, this woman is scared to death. And she, she, she can't believe it. It's the power of the Holy Spirit. It's the power of God that comes upon this body. And she's scared to death. And she was not expecting this tonight. <laughs> she was not expecting this. <laughs> she was not expecting this at all. Oh, this is glory on her. And there's somebody near where she was, wherever she came from. No wonder they said that they were drunk with wine, you know. <laughs> I know. Somebody help Donnie because the power of God's on Donnie so strong. <laughs> the power.
power of God is upon me. I'm so strong. I know that's oh, oh Jesus, I give you praise. I give you near her over here, somebody uh, near where she was sitting has also been healed, an arm has loosened through this section, wherever this woman is at bursitis and an arm has loosened and is the same section, and an arm has loosened through here. Let me pause just a minute and I've got to get the, the arthritis of the toes. I've got to get that arthritis in, in, in the toes. Where is that person who's had arthritis? in the toes. Where are you? Put a hand up, hide up so I can get it. And the person is completely healed. Where's that arthritis? It in the toes. Where are you? Where? You'll find that it's completely gone. Stand on your toes, sir. Just stand on your toes. You'll find it's completely gone. Is there any pain there at all? This is glory. Come here. Come here, if God can heal a man over a hundred years of age, he can heal anybody. That's right, Miss Cuban, he is really? over a hundred. How many years, how old are you? 103. I think I have that diabetes too. He I has just received an earnest of when this mortal will have put on immortality. Stand on your toes right now. Is there no pain? No pain whatsoever, no. You mean no none? Pain. None. Come walk with me none on your toes. Whatsoever. Come on, come on. <laughs> come on, come oh, on. Oh, what an experience. You see him walk right on his toes. Who got the overflow from this? There's another somebody who's gotten the overflow from this for arthritis in the toes. Where are you? Somebody at the same instant got an overflow. You may not have been expecting it. I've got to wait just long enough to get it because somebody got that overflow from this. Right over to the left. Where, where are you? They were pointing right over here. Someone lifted What, what is this behind me? What is this? Somebody has a race. Uh, a hand behind me. Wherever it is, it's completely gone. What is this? Just one. Stand on your on, on your toes. It doesn't hurt. It felt like water in my shoes when you begin to. Uh, tell the folks. What did it feel like? I felt like water in both of my shoes whenever she began to uh, speak about arthritis. I have it just in one toe. And you felt like water in your yes. shoes. Well, take your feet out of your shoes and be dead sure there's not water. Oh, in there. I know. I know what it is. <laughs> take your feet out of uh, which hip? It, it was, was the right one, the second toe. Stand on the toe. Well, now. It doesn't hurt. It's all Is there gone. no pain? I could hardly stand in line out there tonight. It hurts so. Stand on your toes again. Is there no pain here at all? There's none at all. Sister. Jesus, I give you praise. I know. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Lord. And wherever this woman was seated. Wherever this woman was seated, there's somebody has received a healing for an arm. Near this woman, I don't know where she was seated. Wherever you came from, wherever she was, wherever she came from, you'll find that an arm, don't forget to take your shoes along with you, that's right. <laughs> you can go to any doctor you want to and you'll not find one trace of arthritis. What is this? Same thing, Miss Cooman, her toes. I also have allergy, and I feel fine. I came in here sneezing in the booth, and I feel fine. You came in here sneezing. The well, allergy in the whole thing. Bed, right. And your no toes, stand on your toes. Right. Is there no pain? No, it was real bad. Okay. Take your feet out of your shoes. Be dead sure. When God heals you, you're really healed. You can, is there no pain? No. None. It was real, it used to go through. Walk you around a bit and try out your new feet. Go on, go on. <laughs> She left her shoes here, Miss Cooman. Is there no pain there? Not at all. Oh, 
Right now, any person in this place that has anything wrong with your feet, I don't care what it is, this anointing that's on for feet, every person in this place that has anything is like waves of glory in this place. I do not understand how the Holy Spirit works, but any person in this place that has anything wrong with your feet at all, take that healing right now. Take it. On the way back here, Miss Kuhlman. Take it right now. It's a what? Arm has been loosened. An arm has been loosened. Put that arm straight up. That's that same section where the first lady was that had arthritis of toes, right? Is the arm completely loosened? None. Completely gone. In just this split second, every person in this place that has difficulty with the feet, just stand right straight up. Just stand up right now. Just stand. Take that healing right now. <laughs> Take that healing. There's a man right down here has been healed, sir. Come here. Come here. You, that's right, sir. You can't believe it. You that's my song leader, Miss Kuhlman. You're going to find out he's been completely healed. Stump down. Stump down as hard as you can. Is there any pain there at all? No. None? It was this, this toe that was crooked. Is there no pain there at all? Stand on your toes. Just stand. Is there no pain? <laughs> He's running. <laughs> I give you praise. The power of the Holy Ghost that goes through this body is the power of God. I know this is glory. There is another man. What are you waiting for? Sir, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Come here, sir. Come here. Which foot? I got my left foot. I had a broken toe. A broken toe? It was all crunched up. Stump on it. it. Doesn't feel anything at all. Now I just praise the Lord. <laughs> don't you feel a thing? Well, I just feel kind of a glow. I mean, that's about all. I don't feel any pain at all. <laughs> a glow. Just a glow. Yeah, amen. Go on, set in your toes. Oh, it's just great. It's great. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Are you dead sure? Well, I'm, well, I'm not dead, but I'm sure. Give <laughs> <laughs> you praise. Arthritis, Miss Kuhlman, right arm. Glory to God. Is the arthritis in the right arm? Yes. Put up that right arm. Put it up. Oh. Swing it as hard as you can. Swing it as hard as you can. Harder. Still harder. Is there no pain in there at all? Oh, I haven't been free from pain for so long. You, you what, honey? I haven't been free from pain for so long. Put both arms right straight up. Oh. Is there oh, no I pain there? You mean you can't believe it? Are you sure? Even in it? my neck, it's gone. Well, move your neck as hard as you can. It won't fall off. Go on. That's as hard as you can. Move it hard. I haven't been able to for years. Have you not? I haven't. Well, move it again as hard as you can. Oh, glory. Yeah, oh, I know thank glory you, is right. Glory is right. Oh, that's my I, Jesus. I know I give you praise. What is it, Mr. Bennett? There's so much power on this place right now. <laughs> Here come two more men. That second one's a preacher that I know real well, Miss Gooman. The, the, the which one's the, the preacher? This is a Christian church. I think he's congregational now. Well, yeah. mm -hmm. what are you? You're a, a preacher? What? With what denomination? Uh, the Congregational Christian. Well, that's a good we combination. Going in through two doors, be sure we get there. <laughs> <laughs> Which foot, my brother? It was both of them. For some time? Wakes me up at night, cramping and feeling. Stumped down on both of them, right? Oh, they're fine now. It's in the middle of the night, they bother me, wake me Jesus, up. Jesus, right now, the power of the Holy Ghost just falls on both of these men. Praise God. Three feet. That has to be the power of God when you see a preacher go down on the flat of his back. That has to be God. You know that. It has to be. All three feet, Miss Kuhlman. All three of them. Their feet are healed. All three, both feet are healed. I cannot understand the moving of the Holy Spirit, but it's so real. Neither can I. You know, uh, yesterday, when this man that was totally blind received his healing, they had the senile dog right behind it. A little girl came up that was totally blind in one eye. They had brain damage. 
It just seems like they follow in sequence. Yes, I don't understand it. It's beyond our comprehension. And that little girl was the most marvelous thing. She was so innocent. She was almost like the one in the Bible who said, I don't know what happened, but whereas I was blind, now I see. She said to her stepmother, I've never been so excited in all my life. Now I can see everybody when I play with them. <laughs> That's right. Think how we would feel if we had been blind all of our lives. She was born the, blind. Yeah. And then just suddenly be able to see. Praise God. Oh, bless you. Which foot, honey? This one. I felt the bone going. Yeah, yeah, tell the folks, you what? Oh, uh, I felt I've been suffering for about four months with this toe. I couldn't even wear shoes. And you, what did and you feel? I felt the bone going in, cracking, and then I start moving my foot, and now I can move it. I, can. I always felt something in here in the bottom, like Jesus. I think it's the part of the Holy Ooh, Ghost that's just gone into this body. That's all. I just hurt me. I hurt it really. It's been bothering me ever since when I was coming. I felt the heat in my foot. Did you feel the yes, heat in yes, your foot? Yes, I did. No, the power of the Holy yes, Spirit. Yes, right, oh, yes. Jesus, there's nothing in the world yes, like it. Yes, and what is this? Another foot. Yes, Which yes, one? Yes, Which one? The second one from the... Stand on your toes right now. And there's somebody else, something else. What is this? There goes veins. And you mean they've completely dissolved, honey? Jesus, I give you praise. I know that's glory. Praise God. The power of God is going through this body. Take it right now, the power of the Holy Ghost. Somebody's knee has completely loosened wherever the person is. The knee, what is this? Did you ever go to church like this in your life? Here comes a man no walking shoes. up with no shoes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't seem to have an arch at all, but they, they feel different. I used to train quite a bit for track and field, and I had a lot of um, Where are your them. shoes? Well, I was trying out my feet, and... Uh... He was... <laughs> you know, he came all the way from Canada, Miss Cooman. Are you a Canadian? Yes, I am. God loves you Canadians. Believe me. I learned that a long time ago. And well, you mean you have been flat-footed? Yeah, well, I still don't seem to have an arch, but there's no, uh, they, they feel different. I've, I've had, uh, they've given me a fair amount of pain in the past, and... Uh, All right, you know what you do? Oh, uh, run down there. You see the step? All right, run. Go on. Uh, down there. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> running is there oh. <laughs> i think he could run for track <laughs> to run but i when i ran without shoes before they um yeah. they didn't feel right they felt perfect that time so it's altogether different now you know like um no, normally when i run they feel weak that is what without shoes and they don't feel weak now dear jesus thanks is all we can say just thanks there's nothing more to be said Yes, the Lord. And you weren't even expecting this, were you? Well, I wasn't thinking of my feet. I was thinking more of my eyes because they're, they give me more trouble than my feet do. Dear Lord, throw the eyes in for good measure. Just throw these eyes in for good measure, I pray. As the power of God perfects this healing from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. Thanks and thanks. That's right. Touch these eyes. Touch these eyes. And right now, somebody else is getting a healing. It's a cataract that's slipping. I don't know where you are in the auditorium, but there's a cataract that is slipping. And somebody is getting sight in an eye. You know where you are. What is this over here? Bursitis, right on. Bursitis with the right arm for Praise 12 you, years. Praise you, Jesus. Put it right Hallelujah. straight up. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Is the pain completely gone? Gone. Praise For how many years? 12 years. Swing that arm as hard as you can. Is there no bursitis no. there at all? No pain. None at all? None at all. Did it, did it just heal instantly? It was, yes. 
Put both arms up. I could hardly believe it was true, but it's true. She said, I could praise hardly believe it was true. Hallelujah. Oh, praise you, but Jesus. But it's just like you. Praise you, Jesus. Dear hallelujah. Jesus, thanks. And oh, oh hallelujah, Jesus. I know. Glory. Oh, thanks. What is it? Totes. Here's another. Now, power is all. Oh, glory. <laughs> Amen. What is it? Day by day weather conditions and I know allergies. And glory yeah. on you. Freeze. What is Cat- it? Cataracts, Ms. Goodman. Cataracts. They'll have to be taken off soon now. <laughs> Jesus, right now we rebuke these cataracts in your mighty name. In the name of Jesus. And there's another arm. I must get it. And the person was not expecting it. It's another arm that has loosened. Tell me where the person is. And there's someone here wearing a brace. If you'll take that brace off, you'll find out that you've been completely healed. That's all that I can tell you. There's someone here with a brace on. Take off that brace. And you'll find you've been completely healed. I've got to get the other arm that was loosened. I've got to get it. You may not have been expecting it, but the arm is completely loosened. Where are you? The arm is lucid. If I don't see you, just come on, just come on up. Because there's so much that's happening all over this place. Who, who got this? Who got to this? <laughs> Some part of this great auditorium, they're having a miracle service all by themselves. That's all right with me. There's something that's going on through here. Something is happening. What is it? And is it completely loosened? <laughs> I think they fell under the power back there. I Ms. think Cooper. they did too. I think so. What is this right here? A spur here? on the toe and the right foot. A spur on the toe of the right foot. Stump down on it right now. Is it no pain at all? I don't feel anything. And you were not expecting this at all. No, I wasn't. This is a, a woman who was very surprised. Where do you go to church? A uh, Baptist church. A uh, Baptist. <laughs> <laughs> he threw a Baptist in for good measure. To yeah. <laughs> Stumped on her right now. And there's no pain. No. It's you were not little. expecting it at all. No, Jesus, I just pray that you'll just give this Baptist a double dose. As the power of God goes through this body, this young man, what is this? Slighter disease of both knees, Father. Of both knees. Bend them. Bend them, young man. Just bend them. Is there no pain there? No pain, no. Like that, they don't, no, no pain. How long have they had this condition? About two years. Two years. Do it again, just as hard as you can. <laughs> <laughs> He's hitting them very hard. Bend them back again. And no pain. L- a little bit on this one, no. Jesus, it, yeah. <laughs> I didn't get that. He hit his leg so hard, he said there's a little pain now. Yeah. Well, if I hit mine that hard, I'd have pain too. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Storm down on him. And no pain. How old are you? Thirteen and a half. Did you know God was going to do this for you tonight? No. Do you have difficulty in running? I used to. It, I, I started, I couldn't run last year because of my knees and then it, go, it come on and off and I had a bad spell this and year. And what do the doctors call it? I'll go slider disease. Turn around. Let, let, let it, run down that aisle. Uh, women, out of the way, please. Here comes a runner. There he goes. Come on. Come on back. Come on. Out of the way, everybody. Out of the aisles. Here he comes. Look at this. So he's really running. And no pain. Dear Jesus, thanks. That's all we can say. We give you the honor. One behind you, Miss Kuhlman. Her arm has loosened. She had serious arthritic problems. Is that what the people were, were, were so pleased about over there? I know the power is on her. So. She's from Egypt, Miss Kuhlman. 
so much years in Dublin. You're from Egypt, honey. Were you expecting this tonight? No. You were not expecting this. She said she could not even dress herself. You mean this is is through your arms, any other part of your body? It's my shoulder and my arm right here. Begin moving that arm right now. Yeah, I do. Yes, I do, she says. <laughs> and you've been, you've not been able to move it like that for how long? Five years. Five years. It's rheumatism. Rheumatism. Put both arms right straight up. Hallelujah! <laughs> that was worth coming all the way from Egypt for, you know. Amen. Hallelujah, that's Praise glory. Him. Isn't the Lord faithful? What is this? This woman has just flown in from New York City. Wait, just a minute, so everybody hears this. She's embarrassed, she looks windblown. She but just flown in from where? From New York City with her daughter. She came to the September meeting at the shrine, weighed 104 pounds with cancer of the bone. She came to win on crutches. God touched her body that day, but she got to the end and you had the altar call. She could not go forward. She went back home at that time, which was Los Angeles. Since then, she's been living in New York City. Today, she weighs Good. 134 pounds. Beautiful. She has gained all this weight, has recovered from bone cancer. Tonight, she had some pain in her pelvis area. That was all that was left, and God just healed that. Are you from New York City? from New York City. And you had cancer, what part of your body? I had it in my, uh, I had it in my head and in my vertebrae and in my hip joints. I weighed 104 pounds, if you remember, I came to the meeting on crutches. You weighed 104 pounds when you came to the Shrine Auditorium. Mm -hmm. I've been in four hospitals. And you came in on crutches mm -hmm. in the Shrine Auditorium Tonight, you're back in Los Angeles, having flown from New York City. How much do you weigh now? Do I have to tell you? Well, <laughs> Let's just say she's the right size, Miss Cooley. It's 134. You've gained that much weight? Yes. I have to diet now. She has to diet now. <laughs> and you came in on crutches. Walk over here. Sh show these people. Look. Look, Me. look. This is the way I believe in divine healing, people. This is how I believe in divine healing. When God heals you of cancer, you're healed. Here's the woman. Oh, what a sight. Here's the woman who came in on purchase in the shrine auditorium. She has gained weight from 104 to a nice size of 134. <laughs> That's the power of God. Cancer of the brain. Come here. Remember, I carried a magazine with me when I came up. I remember this case, Miss Cooman. Uh, yes. Come here, and you, this yes, is your I did. mother, honey. I carried a magazine. Well, I carried a magazine with her picture on the cover, and asked you to pray that the Lord would, would save her soul. And um, cancer. And well, what what do you do, honey? I was a model, but I've given my life to Christ. You were a model, and you've given your life to Christ. Yes, I'm trembling. She says, I'm trembling. I am trembling. Did all of this happen through your mother's wonderful healing? Yes. Honey, really? Yes, we really have to this is what we discussed in the clinic today. God uses the healing of sick bodies for the salvation. Yes, it does. I dare say you would never have accepted the Lord. Had, no. Had it not been for your mother's wonderful healing. Tell us what it did to you. I don't think I can talk with really. you. You mean because you're shaking? I, I'm trembling. It's all... I mean, you all know from what you've all seen that the power of the Lord is too much to talk about. It really is. The Holy Spirit is too much to talk about. It's, it's a miracle. And people use the word so lightly, but... <laughs> But it's not to be used lightly. And miracles aren't something you can stand up and really describe. At least I can't. I'm just, I'm just so grateful. I just pray that you all really feel the power of the Lord, the power of the Holy Spirit. And that you all recognize this is a reality. This isn't something that's staged or organized. 
I lived with my mother. I brought her to New York City because she was dying. She weighed 98 pounds or 104 pounds at different times. And I brought her to my apartment in New York City. I was a fashion model. You can see my picture on old issues of Vogue or Harper's Bazaar or Ladies Home Journal. I was making $75 an hour. I thought the Bible was a crashing bore, and I didn't want to hear about Jesus. Right. And then I saw my mother healed. That was the first thing. And then the Lord just started dealing with me. And one day, believe it or not, I was sitting in a studio in front of Irving Penn's camera, working, doing the September issue for, for Vogue. And the Lord said, I want you right this minute. And so I got up and I walked out. And that's it. see them embrace because of the love of God. Praise the Lord. Well, I'd like to say also that uh, Brother Wilkerson was praying at the same time my mother had written and come into the pier, and that you people here were also praying for me and for my daughter. And we've been in touch with no people in New York City. We've been completely isolated. I can understand why. Yes. I gladly give my life to him. And what you just said is profound. Not really. I want to say one thing, though. There's something very important about Jesus. When Jesus was in Gethsemane, the Pharisees came, and they, they wanted to take him, and, and somebody smite off somebody else's ear. I really don't know the story. But Jesus said, you don't take my life. I give it. And this is true of Christians. Jesus doesn't sort of, as I said, he grabbed me out of a sitting. But it wasn't something I was forced to do. It's, it's love. It's the love of the Lord. And I'm sure you all, I mean, you wouldn't be here if you didn't know the love of the Lord. And it's, it's not something that's taken from you. It's something that you give. You want to serve Jesus. You want to give your life. Because there's no other way. There really isn't any other way. Is there? Is there? No, there is no other way. Amen. There's no other way. Praise God. And it's something that's so sacred. And it's something so wonderful. The power of God's on your mother just now. The power of the whole place. Hallelujah. It's something that's so sacred, beloved. Don't ever let this become common to you. Never. I beg of you, please. Don't let this become common to you. Don't let the Holy Spirit become common to you. Don't let Jesus become ordinary to you. These wonderful spiritual experiences are so glorious. Don't speak of them in a light way. They're priceless treasures. They're things you can't speak of. Those experiences are so priceless. Amen. That's why when they ask me questions, how do I know and what takes place, I feel it's almost a sacrilege to talk about these things. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. It's the power of the Holy Spirit. In this place just now is the moving of the Holy Ghost, the same power that moved upon Jesus and was manifested during his ministry. The same person through whom Jesus offered himself to be given before God gave him. And we stand here at this moment and we give ourselves again all over as a living sacrifice unto you. Love is something you do and we love you enough that we're sorry there's not more that we can give you. It's so small. And Father, I stand here and I dedicate this life to you to be used for your glory, literally. The power of the Holy Ghost comes upon this one. 
use this life for your glory. You will feel that which we yield unto you. We give ourselves unreservedly unto you to be used for your glory. We withhold nothing. We withhold nothing. Indeed. I just want to say one more thing. I think the only kind of Christian there is in this world is a totally committed one. I don't think there's any other way. And Jesus said, Choose ye this day whom thou shalt serve. Jesus isn't just miracles. He isn't just healing. It's a lot of other things. Yeah. And you have to find out what those things are. But you can't say, Jesus, I want to use you as a checkbook or a Kleenex, or to heal my wounds, and then put you away. It has to be every minute of every day. It has to be 100%. It has to be. And you must know this. And why would anybody want to live any other way anyway? Amen? Amen. Amen. Miss Kuhlman, I happen to know these people, they call me from New York. And they have made that kind of dedication. She's made that kind of dedication. She turned down some real important contracts because she believed there were certain things Christians couldn't do. I believe God already has made it up to her. Okay. I do too, Ralph. God bless you. Amen. God, bless you. God is so faithful. Wonderful Jesus, thou hast spoken. The Holy Spirit hath spoken through lips of clay. This, my friend, is real. The Holy Spirit hath spoken. We can talk about consecration. We can have our seminars and talk about surrender and consecration, but beloved, it's more than just a matter of discussion. You've seen one tonight who has made that full surrender. That's it. My mother said she'd never talked in an audience like this before in her life, but the Spirit of God was on her. This is holy ground in here. If we'd have a benediction right now and leave this place, not one of us could possibly be the same person that we were before we entered this place. Not one. We're living in the last days and he's pouring out of himself upon all flesh. Men and women from every walk of life, you know what I'm talking about. This is glory in here. In just this moment, what is this over here? Come here, Maggie. Come here. I don't know. Looking at you, I don't know which one we got the healing. This is another one from Canada, Miss Cooper. Well, he's from Canada, and he had cerebral palsy. His knees were bent down. Now he can straighten them. He can lift his leg. He can uh, bend over. He can stand on his toes, and he's the happiest boy here tonight. Which one have you got this I healing? I don't know. <laughs> Jesus has the power of... Praise God. They both went under. <laughs> <laughs> You know, every person that came with this group from Canada received the Spirit in these meetings already. That's what it's I'm been telling beautiful. you. Look, the power's is. still on him. The I don't know if he's getting up or not. so strong on this lad. This is the power of God on this lad. Look at this. He, how old are you, honey? Seventeen. Are you seventeen years of age? Yes. Stand straight right now. Have you never stood like that in your life? No, I never have. You have never. And what is it the doctors say you had? Cerebral palsy. How long ago did you have it? Since I was born. Were you born with it? Yes, I was. Most of us around here, Miss Kuhlman, have seen him walking. So we know he's been here during the whole clinic. Pick up your legs right now. 
Now the other one. Now the other one. Now the other one. Now the other one. That smile on his face. You mean you could not have walked like that? He walked on his toes. He walked on his toes. You mean you could not? Is this the first time that your feet have been flopped on the yes, ground? Without trying real hard. Now it's hard to stand on my toes. <laughs> you, you mean now it's hard to stand on your toes? Right. And before you had to walk on your toes? Yeah. Walk again. Put your full weight of your... Yeah, look. That's right. Do you hear him? Do you hear him? That's right. Come down hard so everybody thinks. That's right. Come down. Is this the first time since... Well, never in your life have you ever walked like this? Never. In your whole life? Never. What happened to you? I was sitting in that chair, and all of a sudden, I felt real funny, and I... I can't explain it. Stop on again. Just uh, still harder. Now the other one. You see that your legs are straightening now. Yes. You see that? Come on, walk with me a little. That's right. That's right. Come on. She's walking with him around in the auditorium. sure this is you? I don't know. <laughs> You're not quite sure whether this is you or somebody else, huh? Look how straight these legs are. And, and you've never walked like this. Never. In your whole life? Never in my whole life. And you're how old? Seventeen. God bless you. God. Oh! The power of God came on him again. <laughs> the power of God on this lad again. How many have to admit this is God? Put up a hand. What is this? See, you said it started yesterday, the healing, and finished today. The healing started yesterday. The power of God will continue on this lad. Look at this. That's he's, just power. He's out. <laughs> yeah, I know. And look at those legs straightening. Look at those legs straightening. Emphysema and the healing started yesterday. Yes, you mentioned the first thing in the service, and I didn't think it was for me, and then all of a sudden the Holy Spirit hit me. And the people all sitting around me knew it was for me also. And uh, so last night, I went, we, we didn't have time to eat, so I came to the evening service, so I had a chocolate bar, which I'm no, not supposed to have, and I didn't cough. No, nothing bothered me, and then I went home, and I, it was the first night in about two years I haven't had medication to sleep. And then this morning, I took a sister home that had been at meetings all, all uh, a week. I came from Canada also, but she... This, I Are you the, a Canadian? Yes, I'm with this, well, with this fellow and, and this other fellow that had, his, had flat feet. <laughs> <laughs> I think these are Baptists, Miss Kuhlman. Are you Baptist? Praise the Lord. <laughs> you are! So this morning, this, the, the lady, when, when, when she fixed breakfast, she didn't know that I was not supposed to eat eggs either. So she, well, a great big whomping pile of eggs and milk. I'm not supposed to be drinking milk. And I haven't been coughing either. Nothing's wrong. See, that's just, just the Holy Spirit. Just had a bit of pain tonight. First thing you mentioned was lung condition again. And you said you already received your healing. And, all, and, and the pain and everything went away. And how long had you had this? Two years. My lungs have been burnt with sulfur. Ah. Uh, and you're doing everything you could not have done. You're eating Well, everything. I did it today. That's, that, that's uh, answer enough. I think this boy is the boy that was quite a singer, Miss Kuhlman, before yes, that's right. this I'd, accident. Yes, I'm, and uh, I'm just trusting the Lord now that my voice will come back completely, too, through this. And, dear Jesus, just perfect that which thou hast begun. As that's the right. power of the Holy Spirit has gone through this body. Amen. He's the son of a Baptist Amen. minister who was listed in who's who, Miss Kuhlman. The Baptist minister, his father, yes, listed in who's who. And he won a top award for his voice. The reason I know is because I talked to his father today in my office. We've been <laughs> praising God all day long oh. because we knew it was completed. Oh, praise the Lord. <laughs> and your father knows about this. Well, my father didn't know what was all going on either. Apparently he's taken it by faith and told you about it. <laughs> is your father <laughs> here? Somewhere out here. 
There he is, right Where's through there, the Miss Coolman. Come here, well, the father, come here. Come on, come here. And is this all new to your father, too? No, he, he, he's experienced revival in his ministry in 1950. We saw marvelous outpouring of the Holy Spirit just when I was a young and child. And you're a Baptist minister. Yes, amen. From Canada. Yeah, the loves the Lord. <laughs> Tell me about your son. Did you know he was experiencing this? Not altogether. I realized that he was experiencing some things yesterday. When you spoke of someone who had been healed of emphysema, the Lord spoke to me and said, that's your son. And I said, thank you, Lord. But I didn't know all that was happening. So you're hearing some of this for the very first time? Some of it. Oh, isn't the power of God marvelous? God is good. God is so good. God is so good. Amen. I give you praise as resurrection power Amen. just flows through these bodies as the power of the Amen. Holy Ghost flows through these bodies. Ooh, let him go. There's a power that's on this precious Amen. one. Hold him right now. That's a power that's going through this body. I know Amen. that's power. That's power. That's power. Hey man, hang on, Gene. <laughs> These people are not really drunk, Miss Coolman. The preacher preached last night on being drunk she with new wine. For this other boy, you know, that was here. The, the what, Gene? She was praying. She needed a healing for emphysema and a dozen other things. But she was praying for this young man that was just healed and said, God, I'd rather you heal him than me. And then what happened? And when he came up here and went under the power, then the power came upon her, and she's been marvelously healed. But she's so under the power, we can't get her up here to tell us. <laughs> you know, Ralph, I think it was like this in the early church, don't you? Well, the Bible says that uh, they never saw it on this fashion before, and I think they could say that about this meeting. And, and you don't know something. I came in here tonight, really, I was going to do a little preachy. <laughs> but you, you, look at her. What's, what's the matter, honey? What's the matter? What, what, <laughs> Listen, if you've never seen the power of God, did you expect all of this? <laughs> <laughs> and a holy laughter came upon her, and then it came upon Ruth Fisher, too, at the same time when... Back here in the back. I believe in that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her better eyes. <laughs> you know that's something. And you were not expecting this. <laughs> are you from Canada too? Where are you from? Where are you from? I live here. Uh, Indiana. She, she said, I live here. In Indiana. That I live here. This She's from originally from Indiana, she says. She said, <laughs> <laughs> This is glory. Had you never experienced anything like this in your life before? No. She said, No. <laughs> she said, No. Where do you go to church? Well, I went to this church Sunday. She went to our church Sunday. Well, where'd you go before that? Well, I used to go to. Baptist church in Preston, but I've been ill for over four months in bed. She said, I used to go to the Baptist church in Texas. In Texas. Tustin. Tustin, that's right in here Tustin. by us, Miss Kuhlman. She used to go to the Baptist church. I've been church ill in... for four months in bed. See. Yeah, and so you haven't gone to church for the past four months. You couldn't. In heart condition. And you've never experienced anything like this before in your life. The power of God on your body. Never. <laughs> well, the, come on, let let, let us walk, shall we? Come on, let, I'm so let, happy for that little boy. She's come so happy for that little boy, Miss Coomer. Come on, well, see him bring him in. <laughs> they saw oh, oh. them bring him oh, in. Oh, see, see, she said, I'm so happy for that little boy whose whose uh, legs straightened and who could stand on his feet. You saw them bring this boy in. And I told my friend. I would rather the Lord heal him than me. And I would see him. I'm just so happy. <laughs> you know that scripture, Miss Kuhn, says, pray you one for another that ye may be healed. <laughs> <laughs> she is 
sitting down right now. <laughs> Nothing to do with this service anyway. Praise God. Listen, you don't need me. <laughs> when you have the presence of the Holy Spirit, you have everything. You don't need anything else. And it's just like that. And that which is happening here tonight in Melody Land should be happening in every church in America. This is this is your gift. <laughs> I don't know if she's going to make it off or not. <laughs> That's power. Let her go. <laughs> <laughs> she's jumping. I've Have never you seen ever that. seen anything no, like this? No, not like that one. That one was different. That's power. And yet the Holy Spirit doesn't always deal in the same way with individuals. Have you noticed that, Ralph? I think the spontaneity of a spirit-led service is the most thrilling thing in the world. So do I. Just take it off. And Thank you, Jesus. I know that's glory on you. Oh, that's glory. He can never say again that nothing ever happens to him, you know it? You know, Miss Coleman, some people don't know why we laugh. They think maybe it's sacrilegious, but it's the most holy laughter in all the world because it's the joy of the Lord. There's something different about this laughter in here uh, tonight. Mm -hmm. There is something different about it. It's the joy of the Lord. This place is literally filled with the joy of the Lord. And, and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, praise God. What happened? <laughs> They haven't been able to find out. She's been laughing. <laughs> She's so happy she doesn't know what it is. People on the if they haven't caught this wonderful spirit in here. They won't understand, will they? No, I hope the radio friends that are listening, you forgot all about radio, didn't you? I hope they realize that it's an atmosphere and it's not a show. And it's not something we're entertaining. I'll but tell you Jesus. right now, they've never had anything like this in Melody Land before. I'll <laughs> tell you that. just the beginning of what we're going to have. I believe that. This is just the beginning. Of what we're going to have a lot of in Melody Land. Praise God. The sweetest melody in the world is being heard in this place tonight. Yeah. This is for the very first time a real place of melody. This is a heavenly laughter. This is the joy of the Lord. Her foot's been healed, her hip's been healed, her heart's been healed. No wonder she's laughing. Her foot, her hip, and her heart, she says. Oh, thank and then this you. holy power came on pick, her. Pick, pick up the, the leg. Which hip, honey? This one. And there's no pain there at all. Oh, the glory that is on this woman is something. Praise God. That's what it's like in here. What is this? Her ear opened. Her left ear. Her ear opened. Her left, left ear. ear opened. Yeah, I, I really got to say, God, God, God did it, man. He, he's so beautiful. If only you people could feel How long have you been deaf in that ear? All my life. <laughs> Hold the right ear tightly closed. Do you hear me out of that ear? Yeah, I hear you. You hear me now? Yeah. You hear me now? Yeah. Do you still hear me? Yeah. Do you hear me whisper? I hear you whisper. You hear me now? I hear you now. Were you born deaf in that ear? Yes, I was. Had you never heard out of that ear? No, I was. I haven't. Do you have that ear tightly closed, the yes, other one? Yes, I have. You sure? Yes. You hear me now. I hear you now. You hear me perfectly. I hear you perfectly. Say, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Dear Jesus, I give you praise as the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. What is this? I know, and there's power on this young man, Jesus, right now. The power of the Holy Spirit. There, there, somebody else got an ear open at the same time 
that this ear was open, there's another somebody whose ear was open. Hold your good ear shut. Wherever you are, hold the good ear tightly closed because somebody hears me. Maggie, there's glory on that person. There's go She went down before she ever got up here, Miss Coolman. It's that way all over this place. This is glory in here. Here comes... Have you ever seen anything like this, Ray? No, no. Have you ever? <laughs> Hang on to her, fellas. It's what? Ruptured disc. Are you Presbyterian? No. Look at this. <laughs> She's supposed to go to the neurosurgeon tomorrow. And is is what is ruptured disc? One ruptured, and they don't know whether the two others besides. I don't know what to do. No. Look, just, you've never had an experience like this. No, but you know, I was healed once before. Of what? I had a bit flash and back into Bend over right now. Just, just bend. Is there no pain there at all? No. No pain. But just the power of God is I know she's just a power of God all over me. Praise bend God. over again. Just bend completely over. Amen. And is there no pain? No. And it's a ruptured disc and maybe two. Yes. Two more. And, and, and you're scheduled for surgery? Well, not exactly scheduled. You want to see me tomorrow. Tomorrow you go back mm. to your doctor. No, sir. And you'll find out that there's not, well, he'll find that there's not one Praise thing God. wrong with you. Do everything you could not have done without pain. Well, I just couldn't walk. She said, well, I just, just couldn't, couldn't walk. walk. You just couldn't walk. Well, you're doing mighty well now. Just keep on walking, honey. Just keep right on walking. Go on, just keep right on walking. Go on. He said, no pain. No pain at all. None. Just bend completely over. Just bend completely over. All the way to the floor again. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, hang on. What is this over here? He looks like he's six foot six, Miss Coolman. He's well, tall. All, all six foot six are going to be flat on the, on the floor in just a minute. Okay, that's a, let him go. That's the power of God on this one. Just drink in of the holiness of the Holy Spirit. There it is. That's it. Oh, how real he is. You see, it's one thing to talk about the Holy Spirit, but it's another thing to see his power in action. What could be more wonderful in this clinic than this? That's it. What could be more wonderful than just what we're seeing tonight? Something else is happening down there. There are services all over this melody. Yeah, I see just little groups all over the place, Miss Coolman, where something's happening right now. And what is this? Asthma. Stand there. Asthma? Breathe deeply right now as the power of God just goes through your body. Just breathe deeply as the power of the Holy Spirit just goes through your body. Take it all right now. Just take it all right now as the power of God just goes through your body. Every trace of this asthma goes in Jesus' mighty name. Every trace of it goes. Take it right now in the name of Jesus. What is this? That's a hearing case, Miss Coolman. She's bringing her glasses that has a hearing aid in it. Here is a woman that has been brought up. Here are her glasses. This is... Look at this. This young man is six foot six. He's, he's still under. Standing up here beside you. No. Look at this. No one in the early church they accused them of being... That's why there was no room in the place something was happening, Miss Coon. They didn't have room for all of them. That's right. And was noised about. Oh, there's so much. Look, there he goes again. I, I, I know. <laughs> oh, how blessed the Lord is. Say praise the Lord. 
Say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. I am very happy. I'm very happy. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. With all of my heart. With all my heart. And dear Jesus, we give you the praise for having opened this ear. We give you the glory forever and ever. Hear your glasses, honey, with the hearing aid in. And Jesus is the one who did it. Give him the praise for it. What is this? She had a spur on her toe. A spur on her toe. Oh, listen, this is glory on this woman. And this woman is the most surprised. This is one of the most unlikely. That's glory. Take it all. As the power of God just goes through this. And, and which foot? Which one? Right toe. Right toe. Right toe. Stop on it right now. Harder yet. Is there any pain there at all? No pain. Not at all. Okay. Jesus, as the power of God just goes through. Oh, praise God. This is something anybody in this place can receive. What is this, Maggie? Come here. Oh, Miss Kuman, I know this case. She came from our church in Topeka. I've known this child for many years. Oh, I know this. Look at the hearing aid. Describe she's had, it. Well, she's had this case a long time. Her parents You've have just recently people. moved out here. But her father was a deacon in my church when I was in Topeka, Kansas. So you've known her since oh, yes. she was a little girl? Oh, yes. Known her for years. How old are you now? Eighteen. And how long have you worn a hearing aid? Well, I've had it since March. Since March. But you've, been, yeah, you've had deafness for how long? Well, ever since I can remember. Ever since you can remember? I remember this little girl so many times. We prayed about her hearing. It was such a serious case. You hear me now? Yes. You hear me now? Yes. I'm standing behind you, honey. Do you hear me now? Yes. Do you hear everything that I say? Yes. Reverend Mr. Wilkerson is holding your hearing aid. Do, do, do you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. And I'm way behind you. Do you still hear me? Yes. Yeah. Do you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Do you hear me whisper? Yes. Yeah. Do you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Say, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. I am very happy. I am very happy. I give Jesus all the praise. Oh, I know there's glory <laughs> on him. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. That's power. Names are Millers. Wonderful. This so many times we prayed for this girl. Have you? And now tonight, see this. This is wonderful. This is glory. This is glory. There's another spine hitting that's been here. The person must know about it. Yeah, I've had, we prayed for him. There's another spine healing that's been healed. The person has gotten a marvelous healing for a spine. It's another spinal condition. I mean, the power of God will remain on you for days. I'm talking to the same young lady. You hear me when I'm way back of you now? Yeah. You hear me now? Yeah. And it's distinct, you, you can hear me distinctly, right? Yeah. I'm way behind you. Do you hear me now? Yeah. Do you still hear me? Yeah. I'm way over here. Do you still hear me? Yeah. Do you hear me distinctly? Do you hear me plainly? Yeah. Is it just as though you've never had deafness? Of course, you don't know what it's like to... You don't know what is normal, do you, honey? No. <laughs> you don't know what it is to have normal hearing. Huh? Do you realize this, Ralph? Tremendous. Were you born with this, with the deafness? I don't know. <laughs> All I know is that uh, my mother said that I haven't been able to talk after I had taken part. Oh, you haven't been able to speak correctly. Right. She needs to turn that thing off, Miss Kuman. Is that what? That's the thing squealing, and, and that's what it is. <laughs> turn the thing off. She's lying. It's in her hand. And and you could hear it. This is glory on this young lady. Who's getting the overflow from this? But for this healing. Somebody's getting the overflow from this. I don't know who it is. Praise but there's another ear that has been opened. There's somebody else. I've got to get this spine, uh, this spinal condition. There is another. Is that arthritis of the spine? Where are you? Put a hand up high enough so I can see it. There's another healing for arthritis of the spine. Where are you? And the person is completely healed. That's all that I know. The person has gotten a perfect healing, and it's a spinal healing. 
Where is it? Just stand up. Just stand up. Hand up so I can see you. Where, where is it? It has to do with the spine. That's all that I know. Over here to your right, Miss Kuhlman. Right where are you? Right through here. Wave at me. Wait. Way back here at the back. She's standing up, but she can't get up here. The power's on her so strong. Somebody back there. Help me if you will, please. That's right. Help this young man up if you will, please. Come on, young man. Oh, he's enjoying it. This is the six foot six inch. I want the Lord to touch my father. He wants the Lord to touch his father, Miss Coon. He doesn't know Jesus. He doesn't know Jesus. He's at work now. I want him to be saved and know Jesus. Dear Jesus, just now touch this father wherever he is. Oh, That's Jesus. it. And save his soul for Jesus' sake. Yes, Jesus, he needs you, Lord. Just go slip back to his seat and, and, and just believe Jesus for it. Just believe Jesus. What is this back here? And the power that's of God the spinal is gone. Case, that Ms. woman, Cooper. that's all that I know. And the power of God. Bring that woman here just a minute, if you will, please. Just bring that one here. Something has... I know those people are un, under the power in such a way that they can't even get up here. I've got to go back again. The Holy Spirit prompts me. There is somebody who's not been able to kneel. Tell me, what is that? Somebody's received healing for knees and you were not able to kneel. Where is that one? Let me pause just a minute. Who got that healing? Somebody who is not able to kneel. Where are you? Put up a hand high enough so I can see it. Who got that healing and is for the knees? And it's completely gone. That's all that I know. It is completely gone from the knees. And uh, uh, right through here is that spine healing. It's through this section. It's right through here. That spine healing is through here. Whoever got that healing is through this part of the auditorium. That's all that I know. There's another heart healing that somebody has received. And there's a heart healing through here too. I'd like to get through it because there are several healings right in here. There's a healing of a heart condition. Somebody through there with a heart condition has been completely healed. And that spine healing. There's also something directly behind me. If the person will take it, they'll receive their healing. Come on, in Jesus' mighty name, sir. In Jesus' mighty name, as the power of God goes through this body. It's an older man coming. Were you carried in here today? How'd you come? His lovely wife brought him here. Pick up your legs right now. Is this arthritis? Arthritis. Pick up those legs right now. Pick them up higher. Pick them up still higher. How long have they had this arthritis? Pick them up right now. Just pick them up still higher. Still higher. Bend them all the way back, sir. Just bend them all the way back. Bend He's them. He's going all down on his knees, Miss Kuhlman. Ben, is that something you could not have done? Couldn't have done before a little while ago. You could not have done it. Go down again. Go down again on your knees. Was that absolutely impossible? Impossible. I, impossible. I didn't sleep all night. Several nights now. Painful Was that terrific, impossible? Terrific to sleep. <laughs> Jesus, right now is the power of the Holy Ghost that goes through this body. Pick them up again. Just pick them up. Walk with me right now. Just walk with me. There's somebody else down there who's really getting blessed. Just quiet, honey. Just quiet. Just quiet. Praise God. Just a minute. Here is that spinal healing. Somebody
somebody's gotten this. What is this, Maggie? Girlfriend of the one that received the healing. And it's polio, honey. Looks like she's about 17. Just a minute, Jean. Go on down there. Go on. Just go on down there. She's running, Miss Cooman. And the power of God just came through this young lady. What is this? Emphysema. She's been in the hospital more the last six years than she's been out of the hospital. And completely gone. As a part of the Holy Ghost just goes through this body. Every trace this emphysema goes. In the name of Jesus, what is this? I know there's power that's still on this woman. This lady here, Miss Coomer, has been in the hospital more than she's been out. Which one? The one that's lying here. I know. I know there's glory on this woman. We give you praise. We give you praise as the power of God just goes through this body. It's the power of the Holy Spirit. Just stand there, honey, and just breathe deeply. That's glory on you. The power of God will remain on you for the next 54 hours, honey. Don't be afraid of his power. His resurrection power goes through this body. Oh, that's, I, I know the power is on both of them. What is this? Which knee was loose? One that couldn't kneel. Bend it right now. Oh. How long has it been since you've been six, able to kneel? Six months. I fell three times, one after another, last winter in the rain down my and steps. And it was impossible for you to I, kneel? Yes, it was swollen. I, I you could pain. not? No, it was too much pain. Is there no pain there at all? No, no, none at all. <laughs> Are you surprised? Yes, I wasn't thinking about it. I was praying for salvation for my son. I want my son to be saved. And in that moment, you found out you were completely healed? Yes, there's no... There's Bend it. Oh, look at her. She, well, I don't she's doubt healing. Both, and she nailed immediately. And there's no pain there? No. All right, stand. J just get right up. Was that impossible for you to have done? Without pain, yes. And la last night, my, son, my other son was coming back from Mexico. Jesus, I give you praise with the power yes. of God. Yes. As through this body... <laughs> And you know something, Ralph? We both consider ourselves very dignified. Do you know that? I'm embarrassed sometimes, but I know it's God, so I can't be embarrassed. You know? I know so well. Me too. Because I don't believe in excess excessive emotionalism, and I know you don't either. I don't, Ralph. I don't. But this is God. So what are you going to do with it? Praise the Lord for it. And it's all over Melody Land. Praise God. And what is this? Sprain back. Sprain back. Bend over right now. Is it completely gone? Bend over again, honey. Like a young lady, about 20. Where do you go to church? 16. 16? Are you 16 years of age? Were you expecting this tonight? Yes. She said yes. <laughs> Jesus. And you gave her what she Praise needed. God for his faithfulness. What is this? This is the spine injury. Bend over. I Just a young you, girl, too. I wish you could see this. The mascara is just running down her face. But the smile, Miss Coomin. And the smile is so beautiful. And the glory that's on her. Bend over again. And there's no pain. They tapped your spine. And after you had your baby. Uh -huh, and then after I had her, had her, every time I went to pick her up, I'd get in this position and pain would shoot up and down my back. Bend over and again. Then... And is there no pain? No pain. Jesus just thanks. Mm -hmm. We give you the praise. Praise God. Well, there's your glory in here. Anybody in this auditorium can receive anything understand something some may have come in here tonight and do not understand what is happening 
remember something. God the Father is seated upon his throne. I like to think of him as being the big boss. God Almighty. In position of great high priest is the only begotten Son seated upon his right hand. But in this place is the Holy Spirit. You and I cannot see the Holy Spirit. That glorious scripture, the wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh. The Holy Spirit is just moving in this place. We cannot see him. I cannot see him, you cannot see him, but this is the moving of the Holy Ghost in this place. And it's all over this place. Praise God. We can look out of the window and we can see the leaves moving. But you cannot see the wind. You can feel the gentle breeze but you cannot see the wind. You and I cannot see the Holy Spirit in this place tonight, but Melody Land is filled with the glory and the power of the third person, the Trinity. I believe that. This place is just saturated. If you do not feel his presence, beloved, there's something wrong with you. What's happened over here? Brain tumor and headaches. All brain, tumor. Tumor. brain tumor. And, her and, and, and this is your... One of our gals that we've been praying for this for a number of years. a priest that I know, Miss Kuhlman. You are a priest? Yes. And this is a member of your parish? Our parish, and she's had brain tumor and several surgeries. And she said the pain has been lifted tonight for the first time in a long, long while. And she feels the power of the Lord. And Father, you know all about this, don't you? Yes, yes, praise God. Dear Jesus, thank you. There's power upon this young lady. Praise God. In the name of Jesus, every trace of this condition. Oh, Father, there's power. The presence of the Holy Ghost on you in such a... St- oh, Father. <laughs> he goes down smiling, Miss Goodman. The Spirit of the Lord is so beautiful. This so beautiful. Is what I'm talking about. The wind bloweth, Father. Oh, it's, it's glory. It is glory. It is glory, Father. Praise God. <laughs> this is glory. This is what they had... In the upper room. This is what happened in the house of Cornelius. It's the same Holy Spirit. This father is what Jesus left the church. Before he went away. Love is something that you do. You can't help loving without giving. And this father is what the Holy Spirit. This is what Jesus left the church. This glorious power of the Holy Ghost, and ye shall receive power. Praise God. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Praise God. (laughs) It's something, Father, we can't explain, something that can't be analyzed, but it's as real as God himself. This shall happen in every Jewish synagogue. This shall happen in every Protestant church. In the last days I will pour out of my spirit upon all the flesh. And we vow to give you the praise. Amen. We are one in Christ Jesus. Praise God. We are one. Oh, I cannot tell you. <laughs> the blessing of God. Father, just praise the Lord. That's all I can tell you. Just praise him. Praise out of his innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. God has an unusual work for you to do, Father. God has an unusual work for you to do. Donnie, somebody hold Donnie right now. Oh, praise God. Somebody hold Donnie. No pain. 
Honey, is there no pain? You came down to St. I remember. I came down to pray for her one time, Miss Kuhlman. It and was so is, serious. Tell me, this is what brain? A brain tumor. And it was so serious. The doctors, of course, have all the records on this case. The pastor here knows And about you're it completely too. without pain? No pain. No pain anywhere in your body? None. Is this unusual for you to be without I pain? Have, I've had a headache for three years. Have you been without pain for three years except no. under sedation? None. You had to be under sedation She's to be without head, yes. pain. Right. And this is the first time without any sedation that, that, that you've been without pain. Yeah. This is marvelous. This Beautiful. is marvelous. Father, every trace. Praise the God. power will continue upon her for days. But Father, you understand the power of the Holy Spirit. And Get Father, we commit this one unto you and we vow to give you the praise. praise God. That's one thing you'll not share with any human being and that's the praise and the glory. And we vow to give you the glory forever and ever. Amen. Oh God, bless you. It's wonderful to the Spirit with you, Father. That's glorious. What is this? Born with a hole in her heart. Oh, it's gone. Blow, born with a hole in her heart. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. She feels it's completely healed. And, and, and a doctor is with this one. A doctor is with this one. The power of the Holy Spirit is in there. And the doctor has gone down on the power, and so is this. She's born with a hole in her heart, Miss Kuhlman. She says she feels it's completely all right now. Did you ever go to a service like this? Only when I've come to the shrine. <laughs> Amen. What is this? Sores all over his arms from working in plastics. Sores all over his arms from working, working in plastics. plastics. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can see this. Sores and, and the, just about the red. All gone. <laughs> they are. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> Look at there, will you? Tell Pastor Wilkinson. Tell. Beautiful. Well, where well, do you work? I used to. I, I used to be a plastic. Tool builder, and it, it 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 caused me to break out in my arms, and and now it's all gone. Has it been where all over your arms for eight years? Eight years, sir. Thanks. Where do you live? I live in Long Beach. And has it been very painful to you? Well, it did get quite painful at times. Oh, glory to God. Dear Jesus, just thank <laughs> <that> you. <laughs> Oh, the Spirit of the Lord is so real. Isn't that a wonderful put healing? Put healing. Come, Come here, Jeannie. Jeannie, Jeannie. 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 tell about this. Healing all over her body and you in her feet. You prayed for me yesterday, and, I, and then I couldn't walk. I've had spinal trouble for 30 Are years. Are you from Australia? Yes, dear, I'm an evangelist. I didn't want to come out, and the Lord says they won't come out to me if I don't come out to you. And the power of God is oh, on you. Jesus. And the healing. <laughs> and the healing. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the We've Spirit of the Lord. We've had them healed from Egypt tonight. We've had them healed from Australia tonight. We've had them healed from Canada tonight. You know it? And even Anaheim. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is glory. Do you know this lady? Yes, I know. She's in their prayer group. These are Church of Christ people, Miss Kuhlman. They have a are prayer group. Are you Church of Christ people? Her husband was a, an elder for many years. She wouldn't come out until I... She wouldn't she come except through. I, uh -huh. I know, and there's glory on you too. Praise I give God. you praise, dear praise Jesus. God. The power of God's on this precious one. Praise God. Oh, God is faithful. We have nothing to do with this. What is this? Oh, this is my head usher. Miss <laughs> Kuhlman, he would not even be here if God had not lifted him up one time in the hospital. I know this. And what happened tonight? Well, I had a feeling that they had a lot of glands that uh, caused some leukemia, and I was supposed to take treatment next week, but I think they're gone. Is this your head usher? Yes, he's done a wonderful job, Miss Kuhlman. Yeah, this was my neighbor. When we moved out on East Street, God brought this whole family in, first family. Well, there you go. Your goes. head usher right now is on the flat of his back. Yes, I know that. <laughs> Beautiful. And this is your head usher, and this is not like him. Oh, no, they're very conservative people. They're Methodists. 
You mean this is a conservative man? Absolutely. This is this is why I have him head usher. I want somebody I can depend on, you know. You got him. <laughs> and you've been Methodist. I've been Methodist all my life until I came to the Christian Center Church. We moved right next door to them, and they were the first family in the neighborhood that came and to the church. And this is very unlike this man. Well, I've never seen him. Uh, well, well, he's going to... This is the last person in the world, Ralph, that you would have ever suspected. And he comes up shouting hallelujah. Have you ever heard him shout before? Well, I've seen him praise the Lord, but I've never seen him do this before. And this is so wonderful, sir. De de describe this feeling. What is it like, sir, being under the power of God? Now, you're a Wonderful. <laughs> what is the feeling? Well, I don't think I ever had anything like this before in my life. Not as a Methodist. Let's put it that way. Oh, and the, I w wish I could describe. I wish I had the vocabulary to express w and describe what I see around his glory around this man. Praise God. Is the power of the Holy uh, Ghost. I'll never forget the night, Miss Cooman, when he was almost dead. You don't know the medical history on this man. And this is a real testimony tonight. The whole church has been praying for him. For this man? Oh, yes. Praise God. Tonight Something is your night. Wonderful. You just can't believe it, sir. No, sir. I can't. <laughs> uh, next week I suppose to uh, take treatments, but I don't need it now. I don't think I need it now. Move your neck to the heart. I don't think I need it now. <laughs> Look at that smile. The great physician has done the work. It certainly has. Praise the, the Lord. The great <laughs> physician has done the work. Oh, praise God. Two of them down at once. God is so faithful. He said, how do you feel? <laughs> this is one of your rushers, Miss Cooman. Here's Mr. Bennett, a big contractor. Hey, Mr. Bennett. Yeah. Oh. These are conservative people. Ralph, these are the most conservative people in the Los Angeles area. His wife is a vice president, a superintendent of a school. And you didn't get close to either one of them. You know, some people say, oh, you pushed them over, but you didn't get close to them. I know. <laughs> and, and, and your head usher said, nobody pushed me over, he said. No, I've seen people try to push him over. They don't. <laughs> I'm talking about people at the door. <laughs> yeah? yeah, and they just don't. No. Sitting there this moment, little do you know what God will do for you if you face that cross and die to self. I fear no man. Ah, but one fear. lest I grieve the Holy Spirit. Lest this anointing shall leave. You don't know. Young people, you don't know. In this ministry, you only see the glamour. In this ministry, yesterday, the thousands in this arena only saw the miracles and they saw the glory but very few of them could see the price that was paid before those miracles took place Take 
take not of thy Holy Spirit from me. He can take everything that I've got. He can strip me of everything I've got. Leave in me but the clothing to cover my body. Leave in me but the shoes on my feet. And I'm willing to go out there and live on bread and water the rest of my life. So help me, God. I'll preach it if I have to preach it from the street corner. But take not thy Holy Spirit from me. If I knew the Holy Spirit had been grieved, I would never, if I knew the Holy Ghost had departed from me, I would never again walk out on the stage. The thing is, he doesn't ask for golden vessels. And he doesn't ask for silver vessels. That's the glory of it. He just asks for yielded vessels. No talent. I was born without anything. I have no talent. Nothing. That's the reason probably it was easy for me to say, take nothing and use it. For some of you, it may be a little harder. A little harder to die on that cross. That cross is there. Without exception, you're faced with a cross. Your cross. What are you going to do about it? When you face that cross, remember, is what you want most. I can't make that decision for you. I made my own decision. I made it. I made my decision. I made it. And I'm glad that I made it. It may look so hard. It costs much. My Lord and my God. You can literally take these young people this morning and you can shake the world for God. There are enough young people here who literally, literally, literally can shake this world for God. These lies that are completely surrendered to you, listen, young people. You've had consecration services before, but this has got to be different. This has got to be different. We're talking now about death. Well, you can say, Lord, anything, 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 anything. This is yours. 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 This is yours, body, soul, and spirit. This is yours. Yours. This is 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 yours. There's a death today. There's a death today. There's a death today, my Lord. There's a death today. Many a grave has been opened. Many a grave is being opened right now. There's a death just now. 
It costs much. But oh God, it's worth the price. Dear God, it's worth the price. My God, I tell you, it's worth the price. I tell you, young people, it's worth the price. I wouldn't lie to you. I was God is my judge. I wouldn't lie to you. I tell you the truth. I tell you the truth. I tell you the truth. It's worth the price. I tell you the truth. I would not deceive you. 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 I tell you the truth. I would not deceive you. I would not deceive you. Oh, I would not deceive you. I would not deceive you. I would not deceive you. I tell you the truth. Take me, Lord, all of me. 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 And the Holy Spirit is searching hearts right now. Just surrender, just yield. Just surrender, just surrender. Little do you know what God will do for you. Little do you know what God will do for you. Little do you know. Little do you know what God will do for you if you'll only surrender. I want to be used of you. More than anything else in the world. I surrender everything to you. Do you really mean it? Do you really mean it? More than anything else in the whole world. Nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. He won't take second place. He refuses. He will not take second place. I promise you. I promise you he'll not take second place. I promise you. I promise you. You can't compromise with him. You can't compromise with him. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. You can't, you can't, you can't. Accept a compromise. He won't accept a compromise. I promise you he won't accept a compromise. He won't. He just won't accept a compromise. Oh, tell him. Tell him just now, I surrender all, oh, you know it so well, you know it so well, I surrender, and you may have sung it a thousand times, but this morning it's different, with both hands uplifted, sing it, I surrender all, I surrender all. I surrender all. All to thee, my I surrender. Is a token of surrender. I surrender. I do, Lord. I do. I, I dig the grave right now. I die this moment. Holy Spirit, worship 
opium just now. And there was the sound of a mighty rushing wind. The sound of a mighty rushing wind. Somehow we hear the sound of that same mighty rushing wind. I heard John said, I heard hallelujah sing it, sing it, hallelujah.